Okay, I think we're ready to uh, put the back on now. Let me get these uh, wires from the uh, counter and reed switch tucked in the bottom there out the way. There we go. That should be good enough. Now these two wires and the wires coming from the power supply are going to be wire nutted together. Get the new wires crossed up over here. <coughs> we'll use wire nuts so that if I need to take it apart I can. So I'll just uh, use the little tiny gray wire nuts. I forget which uh, wire I had going to what for the right rotation, but that can be changed once we hook it up. Let's see. Plug my power supply in. <clears throat> and hopefully, yep, the switch works. And I believe it's going the right direction. Yep. Okay. Let's put the uh, drive belt on. Just to see. And by the way, this drive belt came with the uh, with the motor and the VCR, so uh, I didn't have to buy anything special there. Turn this around where you can see it. turning and it's counting that's slow speed that's fast speed so let's cut it off and uh, turn it around here and put the back on it tuck these wires in the bottom here Turn it on again and just make sure nothing funny is going on, nothing's hitting. Don't hear anything strange. Finish tightening these screws up and then we'll put the screws in from the bottom of the base into it to hold it down to the base. In case you were wondering, the uh, before I put this on, you noticed a crack across the edge of the top. That was where the uh, fiberboard, which is the MDF, medium density fiberboard, um, split. Uh, it's famous for splitting if you don't drill a pilot hole for your screws. And I did drill a pilot hole, but you have to have the correct diameter, which is uh, about the same size as the... Uh, part of the screw in between the threads so all you want biting into the wood is the actual thread that's sticking out but it's 
sometimes difficult to find the right bit to get just that right diameter because then you don't have much uh, thread holding the wood and uh, on this one it just ends up splitting on me that's the last screw on the back thing around here and turn it up kind of lay it down there a minute see if we can line these uh, screw holes up get a couple of them started Last two in. Base mounted, turn this thing upright. Reset it to zero. Turn it on. And she's moving. I got another piece of heat shrink tubing. I put on these wires back here. I'm gonna heat just to help hold those two together. I separated the wires a little too far back. So let's see if we can't uh, take care of that right quick. Should be good enough. Now I've got this uh, this piece of wood here uh, is made to hold the bobbin. This is the pickup uh, the pickup itself, and that's called a bobbin. And I uh, just made one out of a uh, bobbin holder out of a block of wood, a piece of half inch thick uh, poplar. Um, actually, I've got a piece of aluminum here that I got from McMaster Car, about 10 bucks. I'm going to cut that and make two, one for each side, out of this uh, anodized aluminum. I'll have to cut it to the right length, bore a hole in the center to fit the quarter inch shaft, and then drill a hole in the edge in the center to meet that other hole and tap it and put a set screw in there to hold it in place. But for right now, um, this wooden one um, holds on the shaft pretty decent because it's wood and it's kind of tight so you just force it on there. And uh, turn this thing down slow and turn it on. And that's what it's going to look like. Set the counter to zero. 
and then turn this thing one revolution. All right, there's one. Turn it. That's a half. And that's the next one. That's two. Three. So the counter's working correctly. Uh, See that? It's counting. That's on the slow speed. Turn the tension on up a little bit. Now it's going faster. That's full speed right there. I think it turned out really nice. Get my uh, aluminum bars made for it. Get them mounted and uh, be ready to line the pickup.